Love yours. No such thing. No such thing as a life that's better than yours. What's up, what's up, what's up, y'all? Today, as y'all can tell by the title of the video, I will be giving y'all a fully furnished apartment tour like y'all been waiting for. Everybody has been wanting this. It's been a month since I've moved in. And yeah, I just feel like now is the time. I've been fully furnished, but I was waiting on my patio furniture and I was, you know, just setting everything up just to see like if that's what I like or before I wanted to change anything. So now I feel like it's how I really want it for real. So yeah, I hope y'all like it. Thank y'all for 5K. Oh my gosh. I don't know. I just don't know. Y'all, y'all surprised me for real, for real. But thank y'all for 5K subscribers, period. But yeah, let's get straight into this video. I'll be showing y'all where I got everything from, why I chose to decorate this way, and why I have certain things set up the way they are. And yeah, all of that. So period, let me just go ahead and get straight into this video. I'll start off with the kitchen, even though y'all have already really seen the kitchen. And yeah, so yeah. But without further ado, let's go ahead and show y'all. Welcome. To Welcome. So right here is my mud room where I really just come in and take my shoes off. This is for where I hang my keys at in coast if I have any guests. My computer just happened to be up there. I've never put it up since I've been here. And yeah, I do have extra security for my door because I'm just a girl, y'all. I'm literally just a girl. But when you come in, I have a silver clock hanging right there. It is not set, but I still love it. But yeah, my entryway is pretty big. And when you first walk in, I have this entry rug and it goes right with my bar stools. Y'all, these bar stools are so freaking cute. I see my neighbor's bar stools and they have the ones with the back on them, but I didn't want it to take up space from my hallway. So as y'all can see, the bar stools take up no space. And I love that for me because right here on this wall, I don't know if I should do two or three big pictures right there of myself. So let me know because if I do two, that'll stop it from going right there. But if I feel like if I do three, it will run into the thermostat, so just let me know. The vibe of my apartment is very minimal. Y'all pretty much already seen the kitchen. I have the lighting on just for the purpose of this video. But right here, I have my little pumpkin patch. Not pumpkin patch, I have my little pumpkin for fall decor. This candle smells so good. I got it from Walmart. And this plant actually came from my room at my old house. And I was like, this is too stinking cute. So when you come in here, I do have my paper towel holder, my kitchen knife set. This was from, I believe, Home Goods. Oh, this was from Burlington, y'all. I don't know how Burlington has this, but those were from Burlington. This was from Burlington. This camera I got for free. It was a collab gift. And it was like, literally on my TikTok shop, y'all, it is $20. So go to my TikTok and y'all can get this camera for $20. And it shows like me and my apartment, whoever walks in. Here's my stove. And I got this little Christmas tree because I'm not really into the Halloween, but Christmas, oh yeah. Over here we have my oil, my sugar and tea. If you watched my last video, you already know. This is my iPad stand. And this is my electronics drawer. I have so many drawers for just anything, y'all. So I really be putting a lot of stuff in my kitchen, if y'all didn't know. And this is just decoration, my flowers, my poor babies are dying. I just changed their waters yesterday, but I feel like roses don't need that much water. And these, these are my Halloween snacks. So yeah, they're almost done. I can't even focus, but it has filter status, water, crushed ice, cubed ice, light ice, and then the lock controls. And it shows the temperature of the refrigerator and stuff. So yeah, that's that. I have my trash can, they do do trash valets. So everybody has to have this valet trash. I have my, I have this little basket that holds my dish rags and my dish sponges. And I also have my air fresheners and whatnot and my plastic bags that I put in my bathroom trash can. So yeah, and I have my handy daddy water. It has this and it has that. So yeah. Love, love, love the sink. <laughs> That's really all for the kitchen. I love the ceiling lights. It has these three lights right here. It also has an entry light. And yeah, this is right here. It's just my maintenance closet. 
and this is how it looks when you first walk in with natural lighting so this is my living room i only have one mirror up there but i was thinking about putting three mirrors but i low-key want to just keep it very very minimal and i like it how it is this lamp i got from ross it was like literally y'all i kid y'all not this big lamp was twenty dollars this is my mirror for my living room i got it from home goods it was like ninety dollars i believe it's not as big as i would want it but i don't want something too big to wear such in my entertainment center this is my entertainment center and it does light up i'm going to show y'all how my apartment looks at night but this is a fireplace and it does light up and i do have led lights on the back of my tv and that's very much a vibe y'all these are too stinking cute i got them from ross and basically they're my blanket holder so if you take this off hello look at me <laughs> trying to hold it but if you take it off it has my blankets in there and it came with the baby rocket ship and i just think that is too cute and i needed a gap filler for right here but i didn't know what to put right there so i think these little rocket ships like describe my little personality without making my apartment childish so if that makes sense when y'all think of these little rocket ship basket holders oh they were just so cute y'all i could not pass them up but this is my, my white rug y'all this rug i did think it was going to be bigger but it's still cute this is my ottoman oh my gosh it goes perfectly with my couch okay y'all so my ottoman it came from rooms to go these pillows all of the pillows on this couch came with the couch and i just think that is too freaking cute it has a gray pillow white pillow and the, these pillows are the pillows that go with the ottoman and i just feel like that is so freaking perfect that they did the pattern ottoman that only go with the pillows but it like brings the whole thing together i just love that and i have this i have this dark gray throw that i got from amazon it is so thick so heavy i love a thick heavy cover and my ottoman is so freaking big y'all like every day i get home i just just me lay out and i <laughs> my ottoman is so freaking big y'all this is my tray that goes on the ottoman but it's also a clip on food tray because i'm a very messy eater and i had a tray at my old house they have little things on the back and you take it open it up and it clips onto the side of your couch so if you want to sit down and eat you can just be like kick your feet up have your little popcorn and and i just think it is such so cute i like how it's gray take it off clean it use it as decoration it's cute and it's also my little tray where i keep my remote at so yeah i really love that i love my living room it is so freaking comfortable like uh this table came with the living room set as well as the lamp i got two lamps with my living room set and they are so freaking cute so when you turn it on the lamp is actually see-through and it has like the glass asmr <laughs> And I got this little thing from Home Goods. I got both of those from Home Goods. And I think they're just so freaking cute. And I was thinking about putting my TV on the wall to cover that red thing. But since I am in a rental and I do have an entertainment center, I was just like, do I really want to damage my apartment? <laughs> and then I get my refund? No. So, so I think I like it sitting on the entertainment center. That way I don't have to look up when I'm watching TV. It'll just be in my face. Plus, it's a vibe at night with the fireplace is on and I have my lights behind my TV. So, yeah, that's a cute vibe. Then right here, I have a mirror on the wall for my guests because I don't really want people in my room or anything. I really just have mirrors everywhere because I like looking at myself. But if y'all couldn't see in my last vlog, because if you turn on this light right here, it is a light for this area and i was like what better to put right here than a mirror like what so if y'all ever see me doing a fit check anything it's been in this mirror this mirror is like closest to my entrance and right before you go into the bathroom so yeah let's go into my room when you come in my room it is literally the same exact vibe as my living room for that vibe this rug was from walmart this light was actually from my old house and i just think it is it just as you can see i'm a silver girl like i like gold jewelry and stuff but i like silver so like the silver light i have my little j i love a good candle y'all this is just my nightstand this also lights up at night i'm going to show y'all this mirror y'all it is so cute it lights up as well i like stuff that lights up as y'all can clearly see but this mirror was supposed to go on my dresser i wanted my tv to be on my dresser so i just put it right here and i think either way it go bow it's still cute but yeah this is the mirror 
the stands for my TV, y'all, I got the wrong freaking stands. I believe this is the stands for another TV in my old house. And I cannot find a stand for mine, so I think I'm going to have to order some more off Amazon. So i really just been thugging with my TV on the dresser, which is kind of dangerous. These are my drawers or whatever. Y'all should know that. This does not light up, though. It does not. But once I get my TV stands, I'm going to decorate my dresser a little more. But I'm trying to keep everything as simple as possible space. Right here is my mirror for my old room. And as y'all can see, it's gray as well. I just love gray. I just feel like it just gives home. But yeah, this is my mirror for my room. This is my ceiling fan. It looks so modern. This is my little, I feel like that's my dream catcher, y'all. It's in my old room and I just, I think it is so cute. My bed as well lights up. Y'all, I've never had a bed set, so this is kind of like the bed set I've always wanted. Like, literally, I've always wanted like the little light up bed. I just, my sister had a bed like this and I just thought it was so freaking cute and I've never had a complete bed set like with the bed, the dresser, the nightstand so I said when I move, yeah, I'm gonna get that and guess what, I got that. These pillows, these pillows are all from, I believe, these pillows are from Ross, I got my gray pillows that go with my gray throw it is too freaking cute they are so fluffy like i know y'all used to the pillows they be like they look fluffy but when you get them they be so dull no these are big got my gray pillows and my white pillows and they really cover up my backboard but <laughs> it is fine uh, over here i got my little end table this is for like this lamp was supposed to be in my living room but i just think it looks cuter over here that's the plug for my bed because it does light up and yeah, that's really it for my room. My room is pretty simple. Just this starts from Ross as well. Ross has everything, y'all. So <laughs> dress for less and live for less. Okay, so yeah, this is just my room. Very simple, very modern. Okay, y'all. <laughs> when I show y'all my patio, y'all gonna be like, where did she go with this? When I show y'all my patio, y'all gonna be like, what is this? But my patio is a totally different vibe from my apartment. Like I wanted it to be to where I could step outside on my patio and I get like gravel on my feet. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know when you step on a sidewalk and you get like gravel and stuff and rocks on your feet? I wanted to just wake up, put my socks on, go on my patio and chill. So I do have something on there that's gonna blow y'all mind. Not blow y'all mind, but when I show other people, they just be like, why is this up here? So not too much on me and not too much in these comments neither, but let me just go ahead and show y'all. I hope nobody's out here. Let me, hold on. <laughs> Y'all, let me tell y'all, this is one dog walking community. Like, all he do is, okay, dogs, I'm trying to go out here and talk to y'all while nobody's outside. But they still outside, so we're going to go to my closet. And we're going to be back. <laughs> we're going to be back. But let me show y'all my bathroom. This is my bathroom. I have, ooh, the exposure, baby. What is this? Bathroom, I have this cute little towel. I have the same candle that's in my kitchen. <laughs> Two soap things for the sink. I have my cotton swabs. Y'all, I don't know why I don't want to focus. Okay, so y'all, I have this cute little, I don't know, cotton swab holder. And it also holds little makeup wipes for anybody that comes over and for me as well. So yeah, these are cute. And y'all, this plant, I got both of these. It came as a set on Amazon. This plant had nothing to do with this, y'all. It just happened to have the tie as well, and I didn't even realize until I got home. And I was like, that would go perfect in my bathroom. This little tray is from Ross. It is so freaking cute. I have my soap dispensers. This is my paper towel holder. I'm finna go put some more paper towels on there, so not too much. Here's my toilet paper roll. I love how it's already built in. Here's my trash can. I definitely needed a trash can with a lid. I hate bathrooms. Whose trash can don't have a lid. I don't want to see what's in your trash can. And then I have my toilet paper holder. I really had, I had towels right here, but I didn't like how messy it looked. Like, it just looked all over the place to me. I don't know. Then I have this picture over the toilet. If y'all can see the toilet. I have this picture over the toilet. I got it from Home Goods. These mirrors, I got them from Ross. I was going to put another mirror over there, but I just feel like the more empty, the better. Because I feel like once I start adding too much stuff, it takes away from my lighting. And then I have my cute little toilet cover, toilet seat cover. It's white and furry and my cute little white toilet seat floor thing. I don't know what to call it. And then I have my plumber or whatever because y'all already know. 
toilets do get stopped up. I haven't had any issues yet, but I would hate to have an issue when I don't have one. Here's my spa rugs. If y'all don't know, when I moved in, I only had one spa rug, y'all. But I was like, a spa, like, I have two seats. Why would I want one spa? So I had the spa, like, in the middle. I'm like, the math ain't math. And, like, <laughs> just get two spa rugs. So I got these from Walmart, y'all. Over here, I have my toothbrush, toothpaste, my floss, my deodorant. This is my nighttime toothbrush, which I need another case, but I have not want to go find one. And here we have, this is all of my jewelry. I'm not really... I don't know. I have like sheen jewelry, but I definitely need to re-up, y'all. I'm very low maintenance. This is my nighttime room cream. I keep it in the drawer versus with my other products because sometimes I be putting on my day moisturizer instead of my night, so I had to separate them. Then I just have my Vaseline or whatever. Then in here is all my fill-ups, y'all. I switch my toothbrush. I kid y'all not every once a week. Like, I don't know why, what my obsession is. But I just, I don't know. I need a new toothbrush all the time. And then we have my Q-tips and exfoliating rounds. So we have my Q-tips and more exfoliating rounds and my extra toothbrushes. And then the last drawer, I don't even know what's in here, y'all. Oh, yeah, it's just my soaps, my extra soap. And then this one, we have my brushes, hair moisturizers, my hair oil, my wig replacement, my brushes, my... Y'all, and if y'all don't know, I am a hairstylist. I do not keep any of my hair stuff here. Like, this is just stuff to touch up. But anytime I do my hair, I go to my shop because I cannot stand here in my bathroom floor. Then in here, I just have soap refill-ups. This is from Amazon, and it showed, like, the cotton balls, bath soap, toothbrushes, all of that. But I just think that looks really tacky. Like, not tacky in other people's bathroom, but in my bathroom, it just did not look right. And this was the extra soap and toothbrush holder it had, but I just don't like toothbrushes sitting out. And this little bin is still cute, so I might eventually use it, but for now, I just put it up. This is all my soap refill-ups, alcohol, hydrogen peroxide, more hair stuff, and my hair remover. And here... Here we have, this is my makeup bag, this is my lash bag. Back there is just a blow dryer, literally, and some makeup brushes back there. I don't know if y'all can see the makeup brushes. Then I have some lotion that couldn't fit in my basket, but this is just my face wash, more body wash, my um, exfoliating brush, my oil, my lotions, my more body wash, and my, and my mouth wash. These are, of course, my feminine products or whatever, and I'm very low maintenance, so... All of this, I will do a hygiene shopping vlog because I feel like I need more, but I'm not very much a scent person. Like, when I stick to stuff, y'all, I stick to stuff. As y'all can see, I have the same, literally, <laughs> the same body wash all the time. So, yeah, that's really bad. Bathroom, when you open it, I have these little soap holders. I got these from Amazon, and they're very strong. Like, I'm pulling hard. And I got my exfoliants in here. I really just stick to my soap and exfoliant. And sometimes I'll switch out, like, I switch out my exfoliants for my body washes. I really just bring whatever I need, but I feel like these fit the aesthetic for right now to be on display. But if I wash up with body wash that day, I'll switch it out. Y'all get it, y'all get it. Here's my shower head, and I'm gonna show y'all how tall my shower head is. So, yeah. Okay, y'all. I don't know if y'all can see my shower head. Can y'all? Okay. So I don't know if y'all can see my shower head, but this is me when I step in my shower, right? My shower is humongous, y'all. So what, <laughs> I'm gonna tell y'all a quick story. On my first week of moving in here, y'all, remind you, I'm the first person that lived here, so nobody has ever used the shower. The shower, and remind y'all, I didn't have no furniture, so I didn't have no stool to step on, no nothing. The shower was pointing at the door, y'all, and I could not reach it. Like, so I'm in the corner washing up like this, because literally, look, this is me standing on my feet, and I can, like, I can do like that, but when I was hitting it, it was just hitting it all different type of ways. But that just goes to show y'all, with me how tall my shower is, literally, and I just, I love my shower, but <laughs> that just kind of blew me. And in my shower, I did have a bath rug in there, but it kept blocking the hole for the water to go through. And I'm just like, and then my shower floor is so big that the shower mat was literally only covering this part. <laughs> literally, it's just like a little patch, just the size of my hand, just right there. And I just feel like that looked a mess. So it was enough for me, but yeah, that's really it for the shower. 
and I have my bath rug right here. So when you step out the shower, bath, sink, spa, you feel me, you feel me. Then my toilet, I just can't have no blank toilet. Like, some people think that it's nasty to have like seat covers and stuff like that. But if you're a clean person, I don't see the problem, okay? And to my closet, in my closet when you first walk in, that is my school backpack. Because if you know, you know, I am in school right now. Here are my rags, where I keep my rags at. Here are my towels, and right underneath my towels. I'm sorry, y'all. This laundry bag is my dirty rags and towels. So we have my rags and towels and my clothes. This is my suitcase, because if you know, you know, I am a travel girly, and I love to travel. And yeah, I just need to have my suitcase in here. I don't have a storage closet, so it kind of looks tacky. And every time I see it, I just want to take it to my mama house. Just keep it here until I go out of town again, girl, but... I guess it can sit right there. Right here is where my shirts are at. I don't like folding clothes, so anytime I get my clothes out the dryer, my shirts go in here, my pants and shorts go in here. Because I'm just that simple, like, I'm not, I'm not. Because when I take clothes out my drawer after they've been folded, they get unfolded anyway. So, so I might as well just put my tops in here, pants in there, tops in here, pants in there, hey, underwear in the drawer, pants in the drawer, but Anyways, y'all, these are my jackets. Let me tell y'all something. <laughs> okay, y'all, so tell me why when I was moving, I'm literally cleaning out my closet, all of that, all of that. When it's time for me to get rid of stuff, I'm like, do I wear it or do I not? So I'm looking at all my clothes. I'm like, I don't wear this. I don't wear this. I don't wear this. And I'm realizing when I move, I'm like, where's all my jackets and stuff? I done threw all of my winter clothes away. Tell me I don't wear it. Duh, Jetty, you didn't wear it because it was hot outside. Like, oh my gosh, I get here, it's cold. So the week I moved in is the week it got cold outside. And I'm just like, all my jackets is at the Goodwill. Like a dummy, but if y'all can see under here, it's just my robes and stuff. Because I want to get like two little things to hold specifically my robes. Okay, so over here we do have my mini shoe collection. I guess I got a little shoes or whatever. I didn't realize I had that many shoes because I still have shoes that are in this bin. I tried to put in here the shoes that I mainly wear. Let me tell y'all, any shoe that y'all see me with, nine times out of ten, I got them for free. I am not a sneakerhead. Like, all these shoes, people will be like, Jada, you don't never wear, you all you wear is your Crocs. Because, y'all, these shoes I got for free. I'm not materialistic. I've never grown up materialistic. So now that I got this stuff, it's just like, it's cool, but I'm just glad I have it. But it's not like... Oh, I got the you feel me? But yeah, so up there are just literally all my purses. I tried to do them in like a little color coded, but I guess it looks good or whatever. This looks tacky, so I got all of these off of Amazon, y'all. These are too freaking cute. But yeah, I just think they're so cute, and I just want to sit in front of them and take a picture like shoe game. <laughs> but yeah, back in the day, I be wishing little me had shoes because she would literally y'all for real if little me had the shoes that i have now i would just feel like that girl but i'm glad i wasn't raised that way to where now that i do have it it really don't mean like the world to me like i gotta have it and spend my money on it so i don't know i just i don't know right here we have my washer and my dryer this is my washer this is my dryer and up there is my basket so when i get anything out this is my dryer right here so when I get anything out my dryer, I just take my basket down, put it in my bag, and I fold them or I put them in the bins, okay? Here's my little steam mop or whatever. I love her. Back there is just extra, extra decorations that I never put up because, I don't know, I just don't like stuff looking crowded. Down here in between the washer is just my Tide Pods and laundry detergent stuff and my bleach and stuff like that. Back here is just extra decorations. Like, I have an extra bath towel and an extra toilet towel just in case they get dirty. I don't got time. I don't got time, so I have extra. But yeah, now it's time to walk to my patio, y'all. I'm nervous. Let me turn these lights off. <sighs> Let's see if anybody is out there. Uh, okay, y'all. So nobody's out here, but I'm whispering just in case somebody walks by. But y'all out here, I have grass on my porch. I just think it is so cute. My mama hates it. She said it looked country. But right here, I have my little thankful pillows for Thanksgiving. This is a fireplace that also came with marshmallow roasters or whatever. And I just think that is too cute. So we will be marsh roasting marshmallows out here. And it came with a little plant. And my other little pillow. 
But yeah, I just think this is so cute. Let me know down in the comments. Do y'all think this is country? Because <laughs> it just feels so good to come out here and just be able to put my feet on the floor and feel like I'm actually outside, but I'm actually on my balcony. So let me know what y'all think. But y'all, just imagine you out here, you got your mug, and then these little marshmallow things pull out, and you can just rush your marshmallows, chop it up with your girls, read a book, like, I just think it's cute. It just be a vibe when I can just wake up, no shoes on, put my robe on, sit in my little chair, relax read a book mm. but yeah i really love it y'all but yeah let me know what y'all think <laughs> let me know what y'all think i really like it for real okay y'all it's still light outside but i'm trying to show y'all how my apartment looks at night so y'all, when I get off of work, this is my entertainment center and I be vibing. Like, y'all see this. I be getting off of work. I be like, baby, I'm talking crazy. Need it, baby, I'm late, but I still can check in with you. But I just think my little fireplace and my LED lights on my TV. Oh. But y'all, when I just kick my feet up. Awesome. y'all right here is the power button and this is to change the lights it has so many different light settings but i think i like the purple the most right here this does produce heat i got this off amazon y'all it produces heat in fahrenheit and this is the timer if you want it like for a certain time to go off or whatever but it says do not cover because this is where the heat comes from and it is just so freaking cute to I got these lights off Amazon. Y'all know the simple LED strips. I like from the side. If the lights are off, you cannot see them. Because at first I did have them right here, but you could see it. And now I'm going to show y'all my room. Y'all uh, see, like my bed and my mirror lights up. It is so much more a vibe at night because, of course, it's going to be darker. It's still light outside. But I just think that is so cute. Call it childish, whatever you want. I love my house. I love my room. I love the light up vibes. And yeah, let me see if I can turn this light stand on. So, as y'all can see, the night stand does light up too, but it's a different light, so it be kind of throwing me off. But it's cool though, and yeah. I was thinking about when, once I get the right stands for my TV, I will put LED strips behind this TV. But y'all, as y'all can see, I'm in my little Halloween vibe. Thank y'all for watching this video all the way through. Let me know what's y'all favorite part of my house. I really love her. I love this for me and tell me like yeah just tell me what was y'all favorite part of my apartment just to let me know y'all been watching all the way to the end okay let me know if y'all like the grass on the porch or is it just a no like be real with jada okay jada can take not even criticism just say yes or no like i love it so period actually i'm not even gonna ask for nobody opinion because that's gonna hurt my little feelings if y'all don't like it but yeah that's it for my apartment tour Drop down below what was your favorite part of the video. Like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to vibe. And we gotta subscribe. Don't forget to vibe. Y'all still coming up with this song. Like, y'all keep coming about my singing and stuff. I love to sing. So y'all gonna hear a lot of that. <laughs> I don't know why I keep doing that. But yeah. In the cut with my twin, we be vibing. But yeah, thank y'all for watching the video all the way through. Welcome to my new subscribers, and yeah, that is that. No, but comment what videos y'all want to see from me. This is and that. I should do a Q and A video, but I just feel like those are so boring. So y'all really just gonna have to get to know me. The more y'all watch these videos, and I feel like I'm not that hard to figure out. Like I'm me. Like y'all like the vibe already, and I like y'all for liking me for me. But yeah, that's it. Hope y'all like this video. Leave a thumbs up. Subscribe and stay tuned for more videos because they're coming. As y'all see, I made promises and I'm going to keep them. God loves you and I love you. Thank y'all for watching.